Hi, Rock is here, and welcome to training session with the rope flow. It's gonna be quite a beginner session, mainly focusing on the mat doors pattern. So, if you don't know how to do it, uh, check our videos or uh, in the app and learn how to do matador and we will go to explore and ignite our spinal engine as much as we can so without further ado i will go with the rope that will be uh, between my hips and my ribs i'm using kraken from optimus and the matador overhand we are starting with a circle and the cross and what I'm focusing now on going with my hand here and as you can see I'm turning it uh, with my thumb going down so I want that full rotation in my arm and my shoulder see my my elbow is quite far away from a I'm not having it close it's far away so I'm having a spot where I'm looking in front of me and letting my whole body to move so I'm keeping the structure above my feet so feet hips shoulders and the head and I'm moving in that position I'm not trying to lean forwards or somewhere. I'm just rotating on my axis. So as you can see, my torso, my hips, everything moves. At this point, we are keeping our feet in a single position, but really soon we will start moving a bit with them as well. Boom. So keep on going, keep on hitting the ground, one, two, three, four, on the both sides, get that feedback where the ground is, and all is within this rotation, foom, foom, you can give this a little bit faster, and it goes boom, all circle, boom, 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 boom. Okay, keep on going for a little bit longer. And now I'm, I'm placing one of my foot backwards and shifting hips weight front and back. Huh? Turn a little bit. Boom. Here we go. So it's only hip shifting. So you're shifting weight forwards, backwards, forwards forwards backwards keep the pace as you feel like it I want a bit more intense one two three four 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 yeah. keep on rolling mission you can see keep on those hands rotating full twist and I'm always above my hips and shifting from one foot to another foot okay let's change the legs Boom. and I'm keeping my feet grounded we are glued so I'm not lifting twisting or anything it's all just from the hips so you can feel the stretch in your feet in your legs as well especially when I go on my forward leg in my back leg I feel the stretch of my calves and it's it's good for your ankle mobility as well as you're pushing yourself forward keep on going one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four All right, boom, forward, back, forward, our side, back, forward, our side, boom. So we have this little footwork that I'm shifting 
my weight from one leg to another leg and I'm changing it. Boom. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Boom. Boom. If you need, slow down. Boom. Feel the ground with your feet. are over here forwards I'm not trying to bend somewhere here I'm always keeping self upright Get back to neutral stance, both feet somewhere shoulder hip apart, relaxed, so knees are relaxed, you're not trying to over stretch it, so you want to have this balanced feeling, and what I'm going to do now, play with a bit more with the hands, so I'm now trying to touch with the leading hand, my opposite hand Elbow, boom, boom, boom. First one. Next one, we are going to our shoulders. Boom, shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. Boom, boom. And then keep trying to touch the ground with the rope. Boom, boom. So now we'll have more more side bending and the next one even more and I'm trying and touching my forehead with my forearm so two four parts and you're hitting the ground still hitting the ground boom see more squatting boom 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 and still keeping my structure aligned. Boom. And the next part is touching our back of the head. Boom. Back of the head. Back of the head. Boom. Back of the head. It will ruin my hairstyle, but doesn't matter. We are working out here. So now you must feel more your upper body side bending, but as well your feet and legs, because we are keeping our posture upright. And going forehead. Shoulder, elbow, wrist, wrist. So we're we having this really close to the body, like really compact. So it's more like tight. That's what we don't really want it. So, but I want to feel where you can go, and maybe you're, you're doing that, or maybe not. So, somewhere around elbows or opposite hip. Boom. I can keep my one handle at the hip and touch another hip with another. This way, boom, relaxing 
our feet and getting this boom it's kind of judo throw and boom it's hip initiated movement with feet flaring out and we can keep the pace over here boom so it kind of stretches our back boom all right sometimes this happens and this is actually having a really good time because now we are going to underhand variations so you're starting rolling underhand hitting the ground boom 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 if your rope uh, gets lost like this for me it gets uh, on the ground that means you're holding it good because we're keeping this okay sign like holding a bird you don't want it too tight or too loose yeah you can actually hold it really tight but you get really tired in your wrists and hands but if you want to emphasize that and train a bit more on that, go ahead and do it but since we are doing this prolonged wall body uh, sequence with the matadors only I want you to keep on holding really kind of loosely like you are holding a bird on his neck boom okay okay weight shifting part so leg forwards back so we are shifting our hips forward and back forward back forward back can increase speed let's see how fast you can go by keeping this really smooth and flowy smooth and flowy all right change legs My both feet are looking forwards, yeah, so make sure yours as well, not flaring sides. So you want to have a bit of stretch in your back foot when you're shifting weight forwards and backwards. Always nose breathing. We are just training for ourselves, not for Olympics. And even for Olympics, you only mouth breathe during your match of your life. All right, and now footwork. Boom, boom, back, forward, our leg, back, forward, our leg back forward like back All right, now let's get back to natural stance. Now we will get the exploration task. And now it's from underhand. So I got elbow with the hand. So whoop, see a lot of rotation in the hand. Whoop, elbow, elbow. 
keep on hitting the ground hitting the ground it's a pulse from your whole body boom 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 okay shoulder 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 Okay, forehead, forehead, and remember, try to touch the ground. With the shorter rope, you will need more of your kind of squatting layer to work on. So, but we want to work our whole body, not only with shoulders and hands. There's a lot of torso and the legs, everything is working. We are humans that are standing straight with the good posture. Boom. So let's keep that way. Boom. And back head. Boom. Boom. Back of the head. Back of the head. Back of the head. Boom. 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 Okay, forehead. It's getting back. Shoulder. Slowing down and elbow. And relaxed, completely relaxed. Close your eyes, breathing through the nose. Internalize your structure with the closed eyes. Try to see with your body. Enjoyed this last minutes of this session. Do it as slow as you can. At least effort as possible. Focus on everything at once, not some single parts of the body or just the breathing, but everything at once, what's happening. You are the whole, your mind, your body, what's happening, all the sensation, everything at once. Last beats, and you're done with the matadors. Boom. Catch your rope, grab on both sides, 
Inhale, lift your head up. Exhale, forwards. Look down from the angle. Inhale. Exhale. Hands up, rotate to one side, feel the structure strong and upright, keep on turning, couple of breaths, and other side. Turn back to the neutral. Look backwards, bend back. And return back. Exhale. Drop your rope or place it somewhere. Stand in the hip shoulder, hip apart, uh, maximum shoulder. Relax, erect that spine, but like you are hooked on the crown and just all your upper body is going up, lower body is resting. Well, it's supporting and the upper body is resting on it, but by constantly going up. Relax, a couple more breaths. Enjoy your great balance, your strong structure holding you upright, bringing you more energy, more clarity in your mind, and just being better at being human. Thank you for joining me, and may the flow be with you.